Yeah. Oh, yeah, put that one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. What's up crew, it's your friendly neighbourhood scooter rider here, t Fitz, back at it again in the lovely scooter shed with another video. So today, we are going to be making uh, pretty much custom scooter wheels. So I know some of you guys will be thinking, these aren't custom, these are just gold I willy wheels. Well, you're right, they are. But, we're going to be spray painting them and paint splattering them or something, but like, if you do that, then they're one of a kind, pretty much, because no one else is going to have the exact same paint splatter or the exact same, uh, I don't know, what is it, Plasti Dip or whatever it is that you do. So, that's what, what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to go through my methods of doing it. So, what I like to do, I like to put a bit of tape around the urethane of the wheel just because, uh, I don't know, I think it just helps it and then you don't get it all over the scooter wheel if you are using other colours besides black. But it would look pretty cool if like you could actually spray paint the urethane. I think you can. I think Undialed does videos on that, but yeah, I don't think you can do it with black. I think you can just do it if it's like a clear urethane. But yeah, so right now I've done one half of this wheel. And then I haven't done any of this wheel. So I'm gonna go gather up all the spray paint and then we're gonna meet back up here and we're gonna just get right on into it. The colours uh, that we have for today, we have a gloss black, which is going to be the main coat over the wheel. And then we're going to be splattering it with uh, a lime green and a sky blue. Also, the weather for today here in Upper Hutt is horrible. Like, I was hoping to go to the, to the skate park today, but I don't think that's going to happen in this... Oh no, it will happen in this video, because no matter what, even if I don't go to the skate park today, I will go to the skate park another day and there will be clips at the end of all of this like spray paint to the wheels and that just because I don't know it is a little bit boring just watching someone spray paint wheels and not actually getting any riding clips out of it or just stuff like that so there will be riding in this video so don't worry about that the scooter wheels are now done they are fully covered up in sellotape uh, my hands started cramping up a little bit that's why I cut the the time that's a bit early because I just wanted to do it properly instead of trying to have it up in the air and all of that. So here they are, uh, white on gold. Uh, it does look pretty cool. I, I wish I could have the wheels actually looking like this permanently, but I can't. So we're gonna go to my little uh, spray painting station, huck them up over there, and now uh, I, I'm starting to do like pointy stuff. But now let's just uh, start spray painting. Yeah. So you still can see like a bit of a gold around there. That's because I just wanted to try and do a light coat, you know. <laughs> ah, just a light coat, just so the paint sticks. And if you do too thick of a coat, especially on a cold, shitty day like today, it's not gonna dry pretty quick. And I don't have a hair dryer down. I actually might go upstairs and grab a hair dryer. Actually, look outside. It's horrible. Blue sky there, yeah, but then what? Dark gray, light gray, dark gray, a little bit of blue there. Now I lock myself back in the scooter shed. But, and now it's just started raining again. You can hear the little raindrops on top of the roof. It sucks, man. But real talk, all of you have been killing it on the uh, like button. So we're getting like, I know it's quite little uh, for most people, like, cause you guys will all watch like people with like hundreds of thousands of subscribers, but we're getting like 50 to 100 likes per video. That is amazing. Uh, if we can try push, like getting almost 100 per video, that would be absolutely amazing. We're getting like 600 views a video as well, which is just blowing my mind because all of a sudden we were just starting to get a whole bunch of views. And it is coming up to summer uh, over here in New Zealand and hopefully I'll be able to get to a lot more skate parks. The main reason I haven't been lately is because on a Saturday I pretty much just relax and then on Sundays the weather's just shit. Like today, it's raining. I want to go out to Potty Door Skate Park and stuff like that. But I can't because I'll go out there, I'll start raining, I'll ride for like half an hour. And it'll just be a shit day. Like I'll go out there and expecting it to be a really fun ride, but it won't be because it's raining. So if you guys can, I don't know, just like tell your friends at school and that. Just go, oh, we go subscribe to this awesome dude from Upper Hut. And just doing that, then I get more subs. Then obviously that will motivate me to make more videos like I'm doing today. Just little ones like this, just getting on the camera, like I say, just getting on the camera and just, I don't know, just trying to pump out entertainment because I have got my internet uh, 
stay sorted so hopefully I will be able to upload videos a lot quicker and a lot more easier because right now uh, it takes me like two days to upload like a 10 minute video which is insanely stupid but yeah big thank you to everyone that watches these videos everyone that likes these videos even that leaves a comment leave it a comment man that's just amazing all right let's just get back into the uh, what were we doing the scooter wheels yeah let's get it all right well that side dries we'll flip them around and do the other side Alrighty guys, so it's been probably about an hour and a half since I last uh, put a spray paint on the wheels. They are looking, oh no, I just put a spray paint on the wheels then, but uh, I've been upstairs for about an hour and a half just chilling on the computer, playing some good old Minecraft, all of that boring stuff that you do on a rainy day. So it is looking pretty good, like since uh, the spray paint I do have is a gloss, it will come out a lot better than uh, a matte spray paint. I am going to go to the skate park right now. I don't think I'm going to be using my vlog camera. I might chuck the GoPro on and get a couple clips around the skate park. I'm not really too sure. I'll have to see what type of mood I'm in when I get there because it's not a good day. I might get there and be like, oh, this is pretty shit. I don't feel up to filming. But hey, if, yeah, I just want to ride. I just want to go somewhere just to chill out for the afternoon today. So I'll see you guys at the skate park, hopefully. What up, the boy? Finna colder wizard here on the T-Fit camera. Here we go, we've got some Envy green tea bars here. This is why you don't buy Envy products. Snap those Envy bars. Yo, G. Destroy them. Oh, yeah, put that one. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to snap Envy bars. Poor. Oh, yeah, I got, I got it. Okay, the brother's boss now, because that's what happened to his one. They beat so here we are, on the sick as hell GoPro. Oh, that was sketchy, straight away. What are we going to do today here at the Scooter Arena? I don't know, kick you in, the footy rewind in. The flat land, a bit of heel drag. Go in the bowl and like nice back here. Alright, let's chill around on the transfer for like 10 minutes. Double bar. Ooh, whoop, whoop. Let's go like a nice, steezy looking of rough look. Woo. Up on the volcano, back look the rattle. Street. Street is hell. Alright fellas, so I learned this new trick before. I saw uh, on uh, one of Brother Goody's vlogs that it was like, I saw Josh Stockman and Bailey Richard doing it. It's like a, is it filming? Yeah, it's like a kick. Oh no, whip, bry, yeah. I've never done it before, I was trying it before, but I couldn't do it that well. Like, I have no idea how they did it so clean. I'll, I'll give one a go and hopefully I land it. There you go. Oh, that was a shocking bail, but now you guys see me try it and I bailed, I have to land it. All right, Jack, what's your new trick, buddy? Finger it flat. Finger it flat? Go, say more enthusiastic, finger it flat. No, that's all the same. Alright, that's pretty cool. You're the only other fella here at Up Art Skate Park that actually wears a helmet. I'm pretty sure. Alright, now you can do a finger flat. Because you're the man. Well, I, was, I didn't think you were going to land it. What was that? That was a no-footer, mate. <laughs> yeah, that was even cleaner than before. Alright, second attempt. Whip to Bry. Come on. One foot, there we go. This is like the first day I've ever tried this trick. And like when I was first trying them for the day, it was like, I couldn't even get the whip. But what I do if I'm learning a new trick, which I barely ever do anymore since I'm lazy, I just stand in the same spot, whip, bry, and I just do it for like, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. I try to do it for a while. Cause then if you get the feeling of the motion or your hand-eye coordination, all perfect, and you got to do it in the air like it's fairly easy it makes it a lot easier but it's still like completely different doing it spinning it flat compared to spinning it in the air because you're not standing on the still all right third try there we go one foot again oh my god i'm starting to get lost in my attempts i think this is number four. Oh yeah so much cleaner than before like flared for celebration Oh yeah. We're back here in the scooter shed. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed those uh, little GoPro clips there and the kids snapping the scooter bars. It wasn't too exciting down at the skate park because it was a pretty uh, shitty day and I wasn't really feeling into riding. Like I did have an average ride but I didn't film any of it because I was just chilling and just you know keeping to myself because when I ride sometimes I just like to ride by myself and just chill out and just I don't know just cruise around the skate park and an update with the wheels I have put another coat on them so uh, hopefully that is the last coat I will be putting on the scooter wheels they are looking really nice nice with the the gloss black because the when I came back the gold was already starting to come through a little bit uh, so yeah, so I just put another coat of spray paint on and then, oh well not then, well right now, I'm going to go upstairs, probably grab something to eat, all of that, I'm not going to film it because I'm not really into filming that type of stuff right now, and then I'm going to come back down once it's dried up, so probably about an hour, and then we'll do the paint splatter and then that'll pretty much be the end of the video for today. Alrighty, change of plans once again, so. Uh, this video that I'm filming right now is going to be on hold for maybe like a day or two So I'll see you guys in a day or two because I'm off to put it on and I'm going to film a separate vlog for that because I'm going to be riding and I'm kind of a bit more hyped up to ride out there since more people are going so uh, Thank you for watching this part of the video I suppose and I'll see you guys I don't know in a few days, but one second for you And we're back here it is a Tuesday so two days after I filmed, so two days after Sunday, there you go. We have the wheels, they are looking pretty nice. Like, I can't see any little bits of gold. They feel extremely smooth, so now let's just get into the paint splatter. So, again, we got lime green and uh, sky blue. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one half of the wheel uh, lime green and then one half of the wheel sky blue. So then, if you're on the left side, it's gonna be another color to the right side. So, I think that's gonna look pretty cool. To be completely honest, I have never done a paint splatter before. I don't really know how to do it. I need Cole Hamilton, man. He's the OG of paint splatter. He always has the dopest setups. I need you. Where are you? I think you just... Do you just spray it like that? No, I'm not that dumb. Uh, well, it might be, because I don't know how. So, I'm gonna, I think you spray paint it, like, make it into, like, a little puddle, and then you just flicker at it. I don't really know, but let's just try and figure it out. Well, maybe I should just go watch a video on how to paint splatter. Uh. Ah, do it the Kiwi way, just make it up. I've decided what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the spray paint and just spray it all in the top of the lid like that. And then I'll put my finger in it, dip it, and flick it at the wheel. Uh, I bet you if I'm doing this wrong, you guys are going to get pretty triggered that... Yeah, it looks a bit funny, but here we go. Oh, it worked! See, this is going to turn out perfect, guys. Oh, that was a good flick. Perfect flick. Ready? Another for a perfect one. And... Oh, no, that wasn't. That half of the wheel is now complete. My fingers are looking like a bit of a smurf, but it's all good. The wheel's turned out really well. Hopefully it does dry well, and when I do take off the paint along the outside, it looks even better. So I'm going to let those dry for a little bit. Oh, no, we'll flip them around, and we'll do the other side. But i got to clean it. Uh, I gotta go clean my fingers first, otherwise I'll get them all over the camera and it won't be pretty good. Alright, let's get the other side done. Dip it in, and... Oh, I think I like the look of the green more. It stands out a lot nicer. Oh, that was a bit thick. I wonder if you could do t-shirts like this. Might be able to. Let me know in the comment down below. Well, I'll leave a comment down below if you, if you do, or if you can do t-shirts. Alright, fellas, so let's take off the silo tape. And hopefully it uh, turned out well. The wheels are finally done. I'm here on the long lens just because uh, I want to end it on a long lens to, instead of the fisheye. So here it is right here. Uh, I am a little bit triggered because as you can see close up if it focuses, you can see a bit of gold around there because I had the, the cellar tape a bit too close to the... Uh, the rim or whatever, I actually forgot what it's called, but yeah, the inside, the middle bit of the wheel, or, and yeah, it didn't turn out absolutely perfect, but maybe that's a thing to know if you guys want to do it at home, just don't have the sellotape, like, touching the metal, have it a bit further away from it, so then when you do, do your first coat of spray paint or whatever, it does do a bit of the urethane as well, and you can just scrape that off in the very end. 
So there you guys have it, how to make your very own signature scooter wheel. I bet you no one else in the world will have the exact same wheels as these ones look like. But, like honestly, they aren't actually signature wheels. Uh, because they are our Willy signature wheels, because they do look the exact same. I just decided to put my own paint splatter on them and just make them more of my own. And it does look a lot cooler. Hopefully it does hold up. But thank you guys all for watching uh, today's uh, video. And the comment of the day goes to this fella right here, man. Thanks for your awesome comment. Uh, yeah, just make sure to leave more comments on the videos. You guys are killing it with the comments and the likes lately. So keep it up. And I'll see you guys later.